A convicted killer is sentenced to more than two years after a tragic death in broad daylight. 56-year-old George Restrepo was walking home from work when he was attacked and killed during a robbery in Central Falls back in 2008. Now a man found guilty of the crime is headed behind bars for life, even though he still claims police got the wrong man. I would Susan reporter Nick Nuosu returned from the scene of the crime today. She joins us now from Central Falls with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. Well, neighbors tell me that George Restrepo lived in the first floor of this building here on Watson Street in Central Falls. He was just a few yards from home that day in August of 2008 when he was beaten to death by two men. One of those men, Caborn Brown, was sentenced to life in prison today. But still, two and a half years later, Brown maintains his innocence. Kayborn Brown spoke for about a minute and a half, insisting he did not kill 56-year-old George Restrepo. But the judge didn't buy it. He sentenced Brown to life in prison, plus 21 years for other charges. Restrepo's son says justice was served, but his father will always be missed. My father was a, a man of like a positive attitude. We have people that live in our life and our society that don't have the work ethic, the respect, but the attitude my father had. Restrepo was a factory worker walking home August 4th. That's when he was robbed and beaten to death by two men. One of those men, Caborn Brown. This defendant has done nothing but commit crimes, violent crimes. There is a possibility of hope for Caborn Brown, Judge. We should not throw the proverbial key away for this 21-year-old man. But the judge used the proverbial key to lock Brown away, and he may never get out. And I spoke to one of Restrepo's neighbors here who says she witnessed the entire beating happen. And I'll have that story new at 6. With the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom in Central Falls, I'm Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.